As you know, Google Classroom released a few updates for the 15-16 school year. One of those updates was Google Calendar integration. This allows students and teachers to view each other's calendars and see upcoming assignments and deadlines. This latest update also creates a calendar for each classroom which could also be made public or embedded on a website or blog. This answers the dilemma, but parents aren't able to access Google Classroom. Parents who are outside of the Google Apps domain, which ours are, are now able to subscribe to these calendars and see every classroom assignment or project that is due. Teachers are also able to manually add events like guest speakers or assemblies to your calendar, so parents can view everything in addition to assignments and projects. They can see events and other things that are happening in your classroom. So let's take a look at what this looks like in Google Classroom. So from the About page, you can view the calendar in the classroom itself. Here you can see I have an assignment posted and due Friday. As a sidebar, if I want to navigate between classes, I use this drop down arrow here. The next way to view a classroom calendar is by clicking Open in Google Calendar. When you click this link, a new tab will open in your browser. I already have the calendar open. On the left hand side, you can see a list of my calendars. Right now, none of them are activated. To activate the Google Training Class calendar, I just need to click the checkbox. You now see a color coded box. The assignment is now visible on my calendar. To get to the sharing settings, I click on the drop down arrow next to the calendar that I'd like to open. I click Calendar Settings. From here, go ahead and click Share This Calendar. The next thing you'll do is click the Share This Calendar with Others checkbox. First, this makes this calendar available for everyone in the Marlboro Township School District Google Apps domain. To make the calendar available for parents, you would click Make This Calendar Public. The only option really is to have parents be able to see all events or see free and busy schedule. They would not see any details. In, all, in most cases, you'd want them to see all event details, which would be classroom assignments and events going on in your classroom. Go ahead and click the Save button from here. Now you're going to be warned that this calendar is public and visible to everyone via Google search. Go ahead and select Yes. And now this calendar would be available for all your parents to see. So how would they get access to this calendar? A couple different options. Go back to your calendar settings. From the calendar details page here, you have the ability to embed this calendar on your website. So you would copy this link and paste this onto your website. And then your calendar would be visible there. So one additional way to share this calendar with your parents of your students is to scroll down to calendar address. Here, you can click on the blue HTML button and this will bring you to a unique URL for your calendar which you can then share with parents via email or you can copy and paste that to your website or blog or you can share it through the Remind app. So if I click the HTML button, I'm then able to copy and paste this link. And again, you can share that through your par with your parents through various modes of communication. Hit the Save button, and then you've shared your calendar. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you found it helpful.